What's the crack, lads? We are back. Our breakdown of eFootball's V3.2. We're doing this pretty much live. It's going to be one take. We're going to go through everything. So if I miss anything, we will be streaming in a little bit as well. So make sure you check that out. So straight away, lads, we're going to take a look at the trailer, right? So this season is called Unite on the Pitch. And there's a lot of stuff to get through. This is kind of a roundup of the new stuff that's coming in the trailer, right? So they do start with new cards. Obviously, the cards are going to be a big focus point for the next couple of months with season three. But Unite on the Pitch, as you see here, is going to be all about new cards or else boosters, new boosters, there's a new booster called Blitz Curler as well that I saw on Twitter. So this uh, Unite on the pitch seems to be focused around co-op uh, as well. So co-op enriched, they talk about it, where uh, they show a lot of gameplay clips with people making, you know, moves. Um, I like this, man. I like the fact that they're focusing on co-op because I do think that a lot of people need to have that kind of casual, even though you can take it seriously and you can be competitive. I mean, if you're on the mic with somebody, it's just a different experience, man. They've also brought back the D-pad uh, kind of type uh, talk uh, contextual features as well where you're able to text people and stuff and pop them up on screen. This could be a bit annoying, but we'll get into that later on in the stream when we actually play some co-op. So that is a big feature of it, co-op. They also talk about this new My League event. So essentially what this is, is similar to the old season mode, right? So it's not like Master League where you can actually like buy players or whatever and sell players and stuff like that. This seems to be, and we'll get into it, this seems to be a kind of a, a mode against the AI, right? And as I said, we will get into it again in just a second. This is just really the trailer. I'm not going to show you uh, too much here, but you will be accumulating my league points. So this is all new. You're going to have a brand new UI as well, and you're also going to be able to use these types of boosters. There's a lot of stuff in this that I do like, and it is, it is look, in fairness, if they kind of like give this a proper bit of attention and put it under the spotlight, I know a lot of people don't like playing AI and they don't like playing against offline, but I do think that there is a big core audience there from, you know, the Pez old days um, that do love these kind of Master League stuff. And they do have these Master League type celebrations as well if you win at the end of the league, right, with the teams that you pick. Plus, they've opened up a lot of the teams that they're going to be able to pick as well. This thing is, seems to be more kind of like a, a kind of a gimmicky daily login type thing. So basically, we'll do this in live time. And the big thing you'll notice there is that is Castolo. That is Castolo there, lads, in the training uh, video. We'll get into that as well and what that could actually mean for the future. Because I do think that they will probably go back to the roots. But eventually, you go onwards and you eventually try and get the ultimate prize. So the more goals you score, the more prizes that you get. This kind of reminds me of the NBA 2K ladder. Um... Neymar Jr. as well uh, with the booster. A lot of people talking about this card. This card is going to be insane. He looks phenomenal in fairness to him. He looks absolutely phenomenal here. Has a couple of contextual animations that seem to be unique to him. So they've probably doubled down on the player ID for him, which is nice. And of course, we do have the new boosters, which they've featured on Twitter as well. I saw this trailer earlier uh, with the eFootball blimp in the background. I think it's Sun Salah. And I can't think of the third player. But we do also, before that, have a new uh booster legend player that we're going to see here is going to be in nakamura and he's going to get in as a booster here and you're going to see he goes to 99 he's going to have an orange booster boys so this is going to be very interesting as i said the only way is up with these boosters right so i do feel that uh this is going to be something that we kind of get into over time right they also talk about a new skill this is the skill that i talked about it's called blitz curler so i presume this is going to be uh, and if you didn't notice, this is a new animation for the opening of these packs as well, which looks quite sick. Um, so I do feel like that they've really kind of focused on what's working for them and they've added some stuff that people have been asking for. No, we don't have Master League yet, but I think that we need to kind of, I suppose, change um, our opinions or change our mindset on uh, on, on where the offline go game could go. Um, because I do feel like Master League was, you know, an absolutely insane experience back when Pez was offline. Uh, and I think as they've transitioned into online, uh, is Kia says the last player there looks phenomenal. Uh, as they've transitioned into online, obviously things are going to change. They're going to try and adapt things and going to try and get things on a different platform with a different model, right? So that's a fairly lengthy trailer there that we've kind of uh, talked about. You can see 98, 98, 98, Kisa, Salah and Son. Uh, and that will bring us in to our epics, right? So we do have King Eric, absolute phenomenal card uh this guy is going to be a beast he's down as a center forward obviously and he's 99 overall with the boosted stats we'll have a look at his booster as well hopefully 
And then there's new campaigns and new events. So you've got your highlight Italian club, special login presence. Uh, you've also got the club event for the eFootball Championship open and the online competition. You've got the big time Barcelona. You've got the normal Barcelona pack. It's just, listen, there's a lot of stuff here, man. There's a lot of stuff to get through to sink our teeth into. So hopefully we can kind of cover most of it within a 10 minute video and then go from there, right? So the first thing you're going to notice when you actually go back before we even go into any of the patch notes or anything like that, right? There's a couple of things to notice. If you are not at your console, we're going to take a look here. First thing is you're going to get an item added to your inbox, which is going to be a free spin. We knew that was coming. I thought it'd be a legend spin, but it's actually a new blitz curler spin. We'll get that. We get our eFootball rewards, whatever rewards you have as well. And then from here, you'll actually notice that it's slightly different menu layout, okay? So going from left to right now, we don't have, um, we have this new daily game, right? So I'm actually going to show you this daily game. I've never popped into this before. This is my first time doing it. As I said, we will be streaming later as well. I do like this introduction to this as well. I feel like the presentation has slightly gotten better. Like they've gotten more gamey, if that makes sense. Um, which I like. I like my games being very gamey, if that makes sense. So it says, welcome to daily game. Don't miss out. Remember to play every day. Aim for exciting rewards. Play every day for a chance to sign a player of the epic card type, right? So essentially all you have to do here, man, is take a penalty, right? All you have to do is take a penalty. You can you can aim here. We're using Motang. You can just pop it into the back of the net there. And once you do that, penalty kick converted. Now take a leap forward and cruise through the spaces. So essentially it just does this. I'm going to go 30 spaces, items added to inbox. You get items uh, rewarded. You're going to be getting a free Neymar here if you get to the end uh, with that. And obviously that will continue on. It'll probably be 30 days. Listen, this sort of stuff, man, I like this sort of stuff. As I said, it's a bit gimmicky. It's a bit, you know, gamey. Um, but as I said, once a day, if you can go in this, instead of you just literally, you know, instead of you literally just spending spinning like for nothing and them giving you free players why not introduce a mechanic like this which i think is nice um so as i said there there's the lap one right where you get neymar jr as your lap one there's his card there we will go through that in a minute uh, or maybe on the live stream but that's the card there it's not as good as the card that was on the database before but he is still a beast getting that ball control dribbling and tight possession and low pass i think he looks pretty decent in game as well technique plus two and of course he's going to have all the dribbles that you could want including soul control or the player skills dribbling player skills double touch flip flap soul control he doesn't have outside carter which is a bit of a pity but other than that this card is going to be phenomenal with 36 levels to go brilliant card but on top of that then as well with the lap two you're also going to get a chance deal at the worldwide one as well so these are the available players and yes that is a new cristiano ronaldo card it is a daily bonus card it will be interesting to see which one that you do get um looks like a really good card 29 levels it is the current age ronaldo but they also have costa corta and maradona littered in here as well a new big time maradona so I definitely think they've listened to feedback as to giving us something to grind. And all the way you go up here, you get another chance deal here um, with the same four players. So essentially what you're going to continue to do is go through this until you get to the ultimate prize. But there is going to be further rewards along the line. I like it, man. I think it's a new feature. I think definitely that it is something that they need to they needed to do. And I think that I'm happy that they've done it. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below, right? Then from left to right, we also have the contract, my team, game plan, and match, right? Just to go through this very quickly, there is a new match pass uh, where you see any of the players here. Rafa Silva is the value one, and the premium one is this guy. Um, I can't even pronounce his name. Borregod? Borregod? And then also you do have, you know, your normal match pass as usual. That is going to be 500 coins or else 1,000 coins. If you have already bought a match pass, you won't get the, the bonus on that or the discount on that right on top of that we also have some new objectives which isn't really that big of a deal we have in the shop we have some new eFootball points rewards there's more players coming i think next week or the week after but for now we do have a new kit right so this new strip is in here it's called eFootball jewel i think it looks pretty decent man it is pretty nice uh, to be fair so i do like that that kind of colorway um, and then items as well as that we just have trainers we don't have any contract renewals left in the trainers right that is because you can now uh, get your trainers with GP, right? So if you go into somebody, as you see here, with no contract, and again, lads, this is going to be a fairly lengthy video so, video, so I do apologize, but there's a lot to cover, man. There's a lot to cover, right? So if we go into a player that we signed very recently, uh, let me see, order of signing, 
if we go into a player that we signed very recently or any of the players that are out of contract it doesn't really make a difference um we will be able to oh this is my other profile i was i was wondering there for a minute this isn't my main profile but anyway any of these players that you have here you will be able to re-sign um that are out of contract right so contract renewal with gp for a player that's 73 overall is going to cost 40,000 gp for 45 days you can do that with the gp there and then his contract is in you don't have to use contract renewals anymore it's all gp now that you can use um which is pretty decent and then from here we have match we have a new layout right so you can see here that there's different modes you've got events eFootball league my league so this my league is a match uh, matches versus AI event over the course of a season, right? You also have friend match there, quick match, trial match. In the events here, you do have um, team play fun, which is co-op matchmaking. You have the teamed event, which is the Italian clubs. You have a banner up here, a little tab that kind of just looks cleaner, man. It looks way more professional now. It looks like a game that is actually put a bit of thought into the design of it. Uh, there's no big glaring colors apart from the graphics, which are easily switched. Everything else looks pretty decent. And you've got your AI ones here as well, right? So this team play fun, when you go into this, this is just going to be about playing team play. Um, it's 3v3 at the moment, um, from what I can see. And you'll be able to search for match uh, rewards or anything like this. It says, play at least one match to receive skill trainer by two. Take part in your own or with friends and play max 3v3, okay? By playing matches, you will earn enjoy cooperative play with your friends, right? So when you create a match room here, you can set a password as normal. And then you can invite whoever that you want to invite. And... Um, with the match make with the matchmaking if you proceed alone right you can also send messages send messages within this i will do its own video on this but this is just kind of a look at the team play right when you actually go into this here um it doesn't really matter if you proceed alone here uh you will obviously try and get matchmaked up with players right so listen there's a lot to like about this um we will get into that in full details how it actually 100 works um but for now i don't want to make this video like 40 minutes long because we will be streaming later um but yeah that is nice we also have the usual kind of like free stuff there as a weekly roundup i'll do that the eFootball league has got a slightly re a slight revamp okay so this eFootball league here, they've changed the matchmaking. They've also got ratings from Division 3, depending on the outcome of matches, aim for a higher rating and rating-based promotion and relegation. In Division 1 to 3, promotion and relegation occur once you reach a certain rating. So if you go into this now, right, and we've got all these rewards from just playing the game before. If you go into this now, there is no rating in here at the moment. Everything is 100% reset. We are in Division 5 in this, main pro in this secondary profile. But as we said here, Division 4 to 10 are played in rounds. Achieve Division promotions by reaching the promotion threshold by the end of a round. After 10 matches, it's the same. On the other hand, relegations would occur if you fail to reach the threshold. If promotions, relegations, or retentions are confirmed before the end of a round, the remaining matches can be skipped. In Division 1 to 3, you will be playing ranking matches based on your rating. Your rating changes with the outcome of each match. And a rating above 1500 will earn you a spot in Division 2. A rating above 1800 will earn you a spot in Division 1. So it's basically a quick fire way of getting into Division 1, man, if you're winning lots of games, right? Uh, it says once you reach Division 3, 6 or 9, you will not be relegated any further during the same phase. And you will be playing against rating and players against your own. So the matchmaking is slightly better that you're going to be playing against similarly skilled players or similarly players that are going to be in the same kind of area as you, right? Um, that my league here, lads, we'll have to go through this. Uh, in more detail but just to kind of start that here right you just pick a team you can pick any team that you want you can swap team if you want and then basically once you start up here you can sign players on loan it's kind of like a master league light right that is kind of how i would say it but we've picked roma here right if we want to change team which we can we can change team here these are all the teams that you can pick so there's a lot of teams in it any of the licenses that they have any of the licensed teams you can see them here any league that you start in or any team that you pick that's a league that you're going to start in so for example if you pick uh the premier league uh which a lot of people probably will that means that you're going to start within that league system so you're going to be playing against premier league teams within that system right so it kind of replicates the the league table here as you see as you see here they have a lot of stuff here that's kind of very master league-esque so to speak right so from that there it says win a match there's different conditions and challenges for completing the match match day one to two it says win one win one match by at least two goals so you basically are just going to be playing all these matches here you'll see the schedule um that you have here so match day one two three and then to see that match day four is against arsenal that's going to be a more difficult key match as you see here with the legend up on the left um listen man 
I will get into that, as I said, this video could be 40 minutes long because there's so much to sink our teeth into, but for now, it's just a basis of everything. Please do check out and like and subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and of course, we will get into that. We will be streaming in less than an hour, um, and we'll be streaming all day, right? On top of that, right, after all of that, we do have the new cards. So just give a quick run-through of the new cards. You've got Blitz Curler, you've got your Player of the Week, your Euro Player of the Week, you've also still got your Italian League midfielders, the nominating contracts, lads, they're gone um, and they're replaced with club icons, J-League and Brazilian players, right? So these club icons, you can actually sign De Bruyne for a free one-player nominating contract. As you see, we don't have a free five-star there, but 15 matches and we'll get that. De Bruyne, you've also got Jimenez, you've got De La Cruz, Dunk, El Shorari, Muriel, Smith and Lopez. So I do like these cards. There's some nice bit of mixture in there for everything um, and obviously with these blitz curler these are going to be all of these here that you see these are going to be players that have they've added the new skill right so you can see there um you've also got Foden now Foden and them right uh they won't have the new skill as you see there with the player skills but the new players that had the shinies they will have the blitz curler and they will also have the booster right and their card looks pretty decent i will say i like that kind of fire again going that kind of dynamic route which looks sick um, so let me know your thoughts on that we will spin for them later on as well in our main profile and then the worldwide player of the week for anyone wondering as well uh there you have it there um Odegaard is there and Felix is there Arnau is there as well as the European ones of course you do have Tommy Asu Foden Goretzka who I would love to get these are all rated very very high some of these players and Foden so listen lads let me know your thoughts that is a quick I said I tried to do this video quick I've probably missed some stuff um, I will be back. Let me know what content you want to see. Do you want to see my league? I will be streaming later, so please do check out that video. I'll be streaming in about less than an hour. Until then, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of V3.2. And uh, yeah, I, for me, I, I, think it's, I think it's a brilliant start, man. It's a brilliant start to what eFootball 2025 could eventually become if they start to extend out and, uh, you know, make their plans really, really well, kind of like known. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me, lads. I will talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.